It's the harvesting season, but no, we're not talking about harvesting pumpkins, corn, apples, or any land-grown crops, but rather some land-grown seafood. Yes, you heard that right. If you're one of those who think, "Oh, Japan is dumping nuclear contaminated water, and I'm no longer having any seafood," that kind of person, here I present you with a perfect solution. Hello, and welcome to this mouth-watering episode of Tech Please. Northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, the furthest point from any coastline, is harvesting something unusual for the typical impression of a landlocked region: seafood. Shrimps and crabs are too ordinary to mention. When visiting Xinjiang, indulge yourself in some seafood alligator, from salmon, tilapia, and grouper to abalone and lobster. You name it. So, how is seafood cultivated in a place with extremely dry climate? If you're looking for the tech behind this industry, there is actually more science involved, and I'm talking about natural science. Xinjiang is a place that consists of multiple rivers, lakes, reservoirs, and natural ponds. The best part: the melting snow from the Tianshan Mountains. This is where local salmon are swimming. I mean. Wow! Look at that crystal clear sapphire-like water. Well, of course, technology is at the core for making things happen. Apart from the high purity of the Tianshan water, the fish eggs are grown in an artificial breeding environment after being introduced from overseas. These environmentally friendly breeding cages can withstand strong winds and waves, while preventing feed and feces from being discharged directly into the water, which may pose a threat to the local ecosystem. And underwater robots with sonar imaging systems and optical cameras are also deployed to clean the cages. Another way of doing inland aqua farming is adapting baby crayfish or shrimp to a freshwater environment. 现在呢，就是说我们把虾苗引进来以后呢，就是要先把这个淡水啊调调成的海水的模式，加加入那个海虾所需要的微量元素，呃，让虾苗在里面生活上七到十天这一个周期，在这十天之内呢，有一个淡化的过程，每天定时定量的加入新疆阿苏本地的淡水，让这个海虾适应我们这个阿苏的水环境，以后呢就放入大墙开始养殖。放入大堂以后呢，我们每天要监测这个水塘的温度，溶氧、pH 值、氨氮及以及亚硝酸盐的水环境，要把这个水呀、啊、调成适应这个虾生活的环境。从目前的养殖成果来看，这个阿苏的水适应养殖这个南美白对虾。对虾需要的水环境温度是二十五度左右，在水温低于十八度之后呢，这个水温已经不再适应对虾的生长了。十八度之前呢，要把所有的虾产品供应到市场上去。The practice of inland aqua farming is bringing steady quality sea products to consumers and growing economic value for local farmers. In 2022, the total output value of Xinjiang's fishery industry reached 4.2 billion yuan, an increase of 921 million yuan compared with 2019. Nowadays, being a fisherman is the new fashion in the area. A fisherman in Xinjiang can earn about nearly 20,000 yuan each year on average. This lucrative business is attracting more areas in China with rich saline alkaline land to breed seafood like shrimp and crab using similar techniques. These areas include northwest China's Qinghai Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region, north China's Inner Mongolia. In central China's Henan Province. All right, I'm about to enjoy some inland bread seafood. Bye for now, and do stay tuned for more tech, please.